Alright. 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 All right. Hmm. Hey, wait, isn't it the coven up there? Oh yeah, it is. Hmm. Ooh, I gotta go with the covens. See what they do. Yeah. The coven. You approach your chosen table to find it already mostly taken up by the coven. They huddle around some kind of glowed artifact. Mm. I only get one wish, not three, so it's important for all of us to agree before we release the genie. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hope, you already expressed your wish for... Uh, wish. <laughs> wish for a secret hideout with a mini fridge and foosball tape. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds like awesome. Faith has uh, argued <laughs> just as fervently for a world peace. Nah. We must save the world. Uh, as leader, <laughs> I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword of instant save the seasons, big, bad, and hope and faith immediately object to Joy calling herself the leader. And the three mm. soon devolve into a shouting match. I like their names. Hope, faith, yeah. and joy. <laughs> uh, amidst the uh, commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing lamp is totally unguarded. Mm -hmm. Without really thinking about it, as if you ever do, you rub the lamp, release the genie, and wish for... A bag full of quarters. <laughs> a machine, <laughs> machine that's six very heat french fries. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I, I never heard of a machine that is able to reheat french fries. Oh no. Yeah. That must <laughs> be. Go for it. <laughs> yes. Wish <We> granted. <laughs> Move to Genie, and you find yourself proud of, uh, the proud owner of a brand new Fry Lord French Fry reheating super system. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We did brave the Fire Lakes of Lower Wrath, the Two Headed Snake of Serpentia, and the Accountants of Babylon just so you could have all fries. <laughs> But the coven quickly change the tunes when they taste the hot fries fresh out of your fry lord. They're so crisp! Neither rubbery nor <laughs> soggy. This is powerful sorcery indeed! <laughs> we were so focused on defeating the big bad uh, that we forgot about an even greater evil. Sub up no fry consistency! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for teaching us the hero of our lives. Right. <laughs> You reheat everybody's cafeteria fries for them, and you uh, all have a fry party. <laughs> oh man! Oh, yeah, I get plus four fun. Seriously? And last time you wasn't you pretty boring? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Oh no, the, that was Chris, Chris, right? Yeah, I had he one had one. Fun. <laughs> yeah, I had one of fun. I had one in smart because I was like literally. I, I had a pretty consistent stats, like yeah. almost ten and everything. Uh, where should I? I? I gotta go for the ghost and the, for the vampire douche. Uh, you find Paul and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they are undead. <sighs> what? They are? Yeah, you, Liam is yeah, a, a vampire and Paul <laughs> and, is a ghost. But they need to eat. <laughs> you know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's all even worth of my Instagram. Ah, oh. uh, what? I don't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can't do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-up. What? <laughs> no! I read that as a, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, a cock-up. <laughs> well, that would be something different. <laughs> well, he is a vampire, so I guess he sucks. <laughs> oh. uh -oh. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched up about this cook off. <laughs> I can't say that cook off. <laughs> started to get into the cock off now. Yeah, it's the cock off now, you know. At no point did I agree to. I got a huge advantage though because I've cooked so many drinks. <laughs> oh, you think you got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as the commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challenges. <laughs> what? I think they are both equal horrible, says the cruel British Oh god, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, what are you, an idiot? Sandwich? I think they are both equal marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Is that the both sides of Gordon Ramsay? Gordon and, and Rams. Okay, so... <laughs> Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Who's me truly is the cat's pyjamas? Wait, are we eating cats? Lyman, because I think the glassy of fresh human blood really goes <laughs> with a parsley sprinkled on top. 
bother because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for Cat. Well, uh, I guess the pajamas. What? Unbelievable! That's not even food! What is it even food? That pile of yarn you can, you need in that frying pan. She she need it in the frying pan. And I have two cats. They couldn't they can use the pajamas. Oh, was it supposed to be food? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that we were doing. <laughs> how fucking high is she? <laughs> yeah, I wonder how much drugs she done. Yeah, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah, then how come it? I won the food contest. <laughs> well, because. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was what I thought. I'll catch you later. Gotta find a cat to put these pajamas on. Later on, you run into Polly again, and she lets you pet her kitty. If you know what we mean. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it means we get to pet the cat she put the pajamas on. What did you think we mean? <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. Right, let's go for a shadow. Ever choose an occupation. Uh, diary slot. What did you say? <laughs> diary slot. What's a diary slot? I don't. I, I don't know. I made. I made it up. I'll say uh, dietist. Dietist, and I'm gonna go with uh, uh, arsonist. <laughs> okay, sure. Isn't that an occupation? <laughs> Mario and Luigi were plumbers. <laughs> Play order is the, uh, decided based on a fun and off-brand version of these two here called Hans and Rudolph would be. Who aside from saving kingdom are also selected occupations. <laughs> <laughs> saving the kingdom, the kingdom, but they are also arsonists. <laughs> uh, what did you say? You said... Uh, dietist. Dietist. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the arsonist. Yeah, I think we go with that this time and uh, the diet. <laughs> well, we're here to take the, down the big Bowser and tell him that you need to Let's eat well. This. Man, or, I have pretty uh, nice spread on my stats though. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna go creativity this time. I feel like. Oh, damn! That's hot! <laughs> to be or not to be. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it is thought the muse themselves had decided to give you, figuratively, oral sex. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, hell fuck yeah. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered like for you. like that uh, figurative oral sex. <laughs> yes, that's nice. It's a nice bonus. Uh, you gain two creativity. Woohoo! You catch Polly floating up on the catwalk, muttering to herself. She perks up when she sees you. Hi. Oh, the plague doctor. Oh, I, love the, I love that. Yeah. It's awesome. I love that. I need some advice. Scott was nervous about singing up for the talent show, so I signed up. Uh, I read some singing. So I promised him I signed up to, up to him. Too, but I don't know what to do. Sex having a drug doing a band on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and I can't think of any other talent. <laughs> yeah, she's talented, alright. Yeah, that she is. I don't want to back up, but I don't want to do something lame just cause, you know? What would you do if you were me? But I look through walls at naked people because, duh. <laughs> uh, well, since you can't die, you could do an awesome suicide medley. <laughs> um, hello, twerking. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh my god. That's a tough one. Yes. I like both. Yeah, both seem to be fitting to her as well. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, I think suicide medley. Ah oh, yes, it was good. So creative. Oh dang, I forgot a lot of people can do that. Yeah, yeah, I kill myself all the time for that. <laughs> she need a different hobby. I'm flipping great at it. I mean, then, I mean, sex, drugs, and suicide. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome weekend. Yes. My favorite is the old toast. What, the, what did he say? Except the suicide part. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Kind of one, one time thing. Uh, toast in the bathroom routine with a plug in dildo instead of a toaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one always get a good laugh down at the nursing room. <laughs> and hey, this is great because it looks like I'd be able to sneak in the part of my sex life after all. You decide not to ask too many questions about that. That last part met. You gain plus two fun and plus creativity. All right. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah, let's uh, see what I can Show buy. Show that now. money. <laughs> it's been a while. I've missed you. 
It's okay, you can look at my stuff. Hey, it's about the money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can buy that one. <laughs> the dragon hate, the classic. It's so chasey and stupid that you, that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into dragon apps. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes me think of fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, definitely buying that. Mm. <laughs> Good cost. <laughs> that weekend, something happened to you. You are no. Oh, and this time was you. Nice. All right. All right, you're engaging your favorite weekend activity. Ignoring anything in favor of thinking about which classmate you'd like to take to prom and how horny you are. <laughs> it's hard to not think about how horny I am. Uh, when you find out that it's apparently reading on your face. Hey, Noodle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go on already. Right okay, you seem pretty horny and I like someone who sits around all day thinking about who you're going to take to prom. <laughs> Wow, does he have your number or what? <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of interested in someone, but honestly, I don't think I could be with any mods who isn't spectacular at sex. I know sex isn't everything, but it's sort of, sort of everything to me. <laughs> Not really, but it's pretty high on my list of priorities. Sorry it's TMI. Titillating monster interaction. <laughs> But it's someone you know, so I thought uh, you might have some insight. It eats me fire. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my. I just lost <laughs> any position. Missionary, clergy, apocalyptic, <laughs> upside down nightmare demon, the pentagram. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Could Miss Fire keep up with me? <laughs> Can you say this? They are the discoverer of the orgasm. <laughs> Actually, the whole the thing's named up. Have you ever noticed that the orgasm is on the anagram of misfire? <laughs> are you kidding me? Once they asked me what they thought sex was about, don't ask me why. And they told me that it was the natural process <laughs> for most living beings to conceive children. They have no idea. <laughs> so, should I help you or. Yay, help me, please! Uh, uh, Okay. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Orgasm. <laughs> oh my god! You're totally right! I never noticed that before! Like, actually, it still makes no sense to me, but I'm going to assume that that's because I'm high and <laughs> super legit on the level. <laughs> I'm high as a rocket. You seem to know your letters and words. I'm sure it makes sense once I sober up. Yeah, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm smart. Yeah, you are smart. Miss if I invited the or invented the orgasm, eh? <laughs> I'm a fan of going straight to the source. I only buy opium for the dude who's first discovered. Being dead rocks. <laughs> yeah, but it does. Oh, it sure does, does it? <laughs> Important thing is Miss if aka orgasm. Totally one. Not one orgasm, just a general one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, and you get plus three parts. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Yeah, this is amazing. Everybody choose a celebrity. Uh, hmm, who else? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Then I'm gonna go with Backstreet Boys. Now there's a group. I, celebrity. I, I know it is a group, but I don't. I honestly don't know any, any of their names. Play order is based on likely that the selected celebrity is secret related to Miss Fire. No. Uh, Backstreet Boys or Britney Spears? Who invented Orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> If we look like that, I think the Backstreet Boy might have spread the the idea of orgasm. <laughs> I don't. I will. I think we take random yeah, on this. Just random. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, ah. first. It seems to be your run this time. You're first. Oh, sweet baby rat. <laughs> this, this is killing me.